Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series, subject, whatever. And this one is on that submission stuff. I was talking to a young guy today. Oh, people, stop. Oh, guys, stop telling me about submitting, please. And look it up. Because y'all don't know, clearly don't know what that means. And y'all teaching them wrong. But anyway, I was talking to this younger guy about submission. And so all he said, well, women don't want to submit. And I found submission. Then he started telling me a story about what happens with the ladies. And he was saying that he would take them to a nice restaurant. He got a lot of money. He got this. He got that. And, uh... But as soon as he asks them to buy him something, and they might take him to McDonald's or something like that, and then they want to get him the cheapest thing on the meal, and then they get into an argument, and, you know, he pissed off about it, whatever, trying to low braid or whatever, with all he doing with it and stuff. I'm like, well, first off, what is submission? Do you know what it is? I say submission means, oh, let me read y'all definition right quick of submission first. Okay. Let's go back to the top. It says submission. The action or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm not done. Uh, the action of presenting a proposal, application, or document, consideration, or judgment. Okay. Wait a minute. The act of giving a document, okay, like we said, proposal, piece of writing, someone so that it can be considered or approved, or act of submitting something, something that is submitted, state of being obedient, the act of accepting authority or control of someone else. Okay, just on that alone, okay, means that when you say submit, you want someone to come under your control. You want to control everything they do, okay? You want them to do whatever you say. That could be anything. So most people put it as, I want you to clean up, I want you to cook, I want you to sex me, I want you to, everything I say I want you to agree with, you have no will, you have, you're basically a slave again. We're going back to slave mentality. Okay, that's the type of woman y'all looking for? You're not going to find her. <laughs> if you do, she has very low self-esteem. And when she's going to get her power and she's going to leave you or something bad is going to happen. Why would you want that type of person? Okay. I told him, I said, you've been taught wrong. Okay. In that Bible, when they say submit, that was because they want to be in control of people. So they want to keep women under control and make them feel like they couldn't think or anything for themselves, just like they did you in slavery time, just like they're doing now. That's why we're trying to get out of this and go into the age of Aquarius, okay? So I told him, I said, why don't you ask for the type of woman? First off, I told him, I said, oh, make sure you're happy. You have joy, peace happiness you can enjoy your own self you can enjoy your own time you can be by yourself you don't need nobody around that's number one and that's the type of person you should be looking for that feel that same way about their self just like yeah yeah the kid says i'm looking for someone who's going to come and enjoy me in my happiness in my world just like that person who you're looking for is supposed to say the same thing about their selves and you coming into their world so y'all can make more happiness because you, you're not supposed to be looking for a person to make you happy you're supposed to already be happy okay number whatever number <laughs> but anyway i told him i said why don't you say um to the you know he stopped talking about god blah 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 i said why don't you say i want a best friend i want someone who i can talk about anything with okay I want someone that I can trust, build that trust together, okay? I want someone who's on their path, you know, and in their destiny. And I'm on mine, and we could talk about it together where we're not on the same destiny or similar destinies, but they don't have any problem with me being on mine, and I don't have no problem with them being on mine, on theirs. I want somebody where money is not a factor, you know? 
And if you want somebody to look good, have a body type, you can ask for that as well, you know. And not ruining their body, they not ruining y'all, so y'all can enjoy yourself, knowing how to control yourself during the sexual, during the mindset, during the manipulation. And somebody can call you out on your BS, you know, and you can take it, and they can take it when you're wrong. I say, how about all these times we're going through it, and we have to live on the street, or we have to live in our car? You want somebody that's going to be down and could do all that as well, you know? With, when the lights and everything go off. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want somebody that's down with that. Don't, you know, y'all together with it all. Knowing how to survive. Y'all don't know how to figure it out. Okay, let's get our cameras. Let's get out. Whatever. You know? You want somebody like, he was walking around. You want somebody to walk around with you. You want to walk up and down the street and y'all talk and laugh and giggle. Walk to the store. Whether y'all got Mercedes or what, Maybach, whatever you got. That's materialistic is not a factor. You ain't worried about that. Whether you the big boss, billionaire, millionaire, whatever, on your way to that, you know, that person down with you. You can y'all down the earth, y'all can go in the park and roll in the grass. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can be comfortable whatever. You know? Sitting on the corner, whatever. You want that type it or is that the type of person when y'all get ready to go in front of whatever y'all gotta present? And it's around big time or whatever. She gonna dress to the nines. She gonna dress to the nines. They know how to do that. They know how to act in public. They know how to act in the business wise. They know how to back, act when y'all going to, you know, around high society people, whatever it may be. You know, really get to know what you want, not what you were taught, not what the church says, not what mom and dad or what you, you know, they said the type of person you should have. The type of person that really fits you dig deep inside of yourself so you can find out who will really fit in your world. You know, if you, I told myself, I take applications. And if I, and I look at the birth chart, I want to know the birth chart, I want to know all this stuff because I'm looking to see if you fit. I want to know the blood type. Most people don't know their blood type, but I was explaining to him how the Japanese do it and how the blood type is so important. And if you would look up, how each person is with that type of blood type, you know, stuff like that. I was just telling me to dig a little deeper, you know, <clears throat> and don't worry about all of that because evidently the submission thing is not working for you because that's not what you want because submission means you going to do everything for me because I'm going to do everything for you for as supplying your needs. So the money you're going to spend and you're going to pay for it. That's a submission. You're going to take care of home. That's what submission means, right? You're going to do everything. If you if that's not submission to you and you want her to do, you want her to do everything you say, sexually, home-wise, pop the babies out, the whole nine yards, and work and give you money, that's not submission. You looking for a masculine, feminine woman, just like you supposed to be, because we all are. Because a masculine woman is going to help with the money situation. She's going to bring in some money as well. So you're not looking for a submissive woman. You're looking for a partner, not someone that you can control. Why would you want to control the person? You know. So. I don't know. That's, hopefully this will be my last one on submission. I am so tired of running to people talking about that kind of stuff and submitting, and they don't know what they're talking about. Look up what the word means. You know, and in the Bible it also states that you don't have total control over the woman's body. It says if she agrees to the things that you want to do in the bed, don't defile the bed. So that means don't bring other ideas that other women or men that put in your head to bring to their bed to try to make her do. Read the Bible. Okay? People don't... Nobody read it. People only telling you bits and pieces what they wanted to control you out of that Bible. Okay? So read if that's what you do. Read all kind of Bibles. Open your mind. I was trying to tell him about astrology and this and that. He don't want to get off into it. He studied, you know. But I just wanted to explain to him what submission meant. Have you looked it up? Do you know exactly what you're talking about? Because the ladies you've been meeting, they've been doing what you wanted. They submit. Then you get angry because you want them to give back. Well, you're not looking for a submissive woman or man. You're not looking for that. Okay? You're looking for a partner that's going to be equal with you. So make up your mind what you're talking about. You know? Look it up. 
So I just wanted to put that out there again because I am so fed up with people talking about that. And they haven't even read the Bible or no Bible. And they come at you like that and really try to low grade people. Now, you, like I said, you might get some some uh, low self-esteem people, but as soon as they build their self-esteem because they have a destiny and a path and the creators love them as well, we'll build them up, you know, and it will change, okay? So, okay, this is your girl Ruth signing out with your like, subscribe, share, and comment. I really appreciate it. Anything y'all want to say about what I'm saying, adding on to it, I appreciate it. But, yeah, you need to know yourself so you know what type of partner you're looking for, okay? Because body and sex, and that's not it. That's not it. That's, that's only a little part of it. You know, what if you can't have those things? If that partner going to be there with you? Are you looking for the real love or building on the real love? Is that what you want? Or you just want to mess around? Don't play with nobody. Do that. Mess around. You know? All right, y'all. Love y'all. Bye.